Well, as we head into the holidays, the importance of giving thanks is often lost in the mix of feasting and football, especially for children. So here with Engaging Activities to teach your kids the value of gratitude is parenting blogger Mimi Green. Welcome back, Mimi. Thank you. How are you? Very good. Are you excited for Thanksgiving? I'm so ready. I'm ready to eat. I'm not cooking a thing. Good for you. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way to do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So we're giving uh, some good, fun, crafty uh, gratitude things for our kids. Yes. So uh, a couple of years after Thanksgiving dinner, we've just taken to doing arts and crafts in the family. Yeah. So it's a good way to kind of get together, chit chat, even adults get in on some of the kitty action. But it's really easy to do, you know, we're not breaking the bank. Most of these crafts are just paper. Okay. So we'll start with this cute little turkey box here. Uh -huh. So the box is part of like a snack box the kids had left over. I was going to put in recycling. So you can use any kind of box that like you have. Like a tissue box yep. or, okay. A tissue box, snack box, whatever you have. Okay. Don't go out spending money on these things. <laughs> The covering, all the details are just construction paper. So you can get a pack of construction paper for maybe like four bucks. It's got like six colors in it. You know, whenever you go to the craft store, take your coupons. Okay. We're not paying full price. And I pretty much just wrapped it like a gift, right? Christmas is next month. We're mm -hmm. getting ready. So you wrap it like a present. And so on the website, I have just a little template you can use to make this cute little turkey. Uh -huh. You add the feathers. And then, so my daughter's five. Her penmanship isn't the best. Okay. If you want, you can let them struggle through it. Or you can just let you them tell them you. can help them out. And you can help them out. So these are just some basic things to be thankful for. So family, friends, nature, help, home, faith. And you can do whatever you want. And thank mom for helping. Yes. <laughs> and we use traditional kind of Thanksgiving colors, but right. don't feel obligated to stay in that color pattern. Okay, I like that. So it in on the family this action. is a gratitude jar. Now this one I got away from the traditional colors. Okay. But this is really easy. It's just a traditional mason jar. Mm -hmm. You can get a mason jar for a dollar, or you just go to your cupboard and just take one out, <laughs> right? Just put it back. So I've just printed a little sign on here. It says, what are you thankful for? Now this one you could do for the little kids, you can do for the teens or the adults. Mm -hmm. So made a little note card here. It says, I am thankful for, and then you just write whatever you're thankful for. You can do this once a day. You can make it like a morning routine if you want, mm -hmm. or you know, before you go to bed. I have my GMW family. There you go. Oh, and just squeeze it right on in there. Squeeze it in. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm gonna I say it's a star shape. Okay. Let's make it a little, oh, a little smaller. A little, smaller. Yeah. It's a okay. little festive there. So what you can do if you want at the end of the month, you can pull them out, out all out and read them. Yeah. Kind of reflect on, you know, the things you're thankful for. It could be something big or it could be to the guy who held the door open for me when I was going through, you know, something like that. Gratitude is something I think we all need to do more of every single day. Okay, yes. let's move on quickly. Okay, so this one is a turkey. And this one is definitely geared more to the little people mm -hmm. because the turkey feathers are made by handprints. I remember this from grade yes, school. Yes, old school, right? So very simple. Again, the same thing. There's a cute card on here that says, hands down, you're the best, and I'm thankful for you. So oh. you can give this away or you can just make it. Or if your kid's young, they might come home with it for you from school. From school. Yeah. All right, what do we have next? So this one is a gratitude tree. Again, it's just construction paper. I found a template for a tree, printed it out. If you can draw, that's amazing. I cannot. <laughs> so each petal on the tree is, again, something you're thankful for. So you can do it. The kids can do it. You can do it all at once. You can do a petal a day, however you want to do it you can do it. I love it. And then last but not least. Last but not least is the photo challenge. So it's a thankful gratitude photo challenge. So I put pictures on here to represent things I'm thankful for. Uh -huh. I believe my son's picture here. My son is 13 today. Oh, and happy so, birthday. He's so happy handsome. Happy birthday, son. Yeah, so I'm so thankful that we made to 13. That's big. <laughs> and then here is, I've been reading em Empathy and Eyebrows. So I'm thankful for a good book. Just some silence to enjoy. And just various things. I wear Uggs in the winter. Those of my favorite things. So, so putting it all, it's great, it's visual. Yes. Get your kids involved, get the whole mm -hmm. family involved. Mimi Green, thank you so much. Find You're out welcome. more. Mimi Cute Lips.